snap out of it. Understanding and using the phrase. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting English phrase, snap out of it. It's a phrase you might have heard in movies, TV shows, or everyday conversations. In this video, we'll dive into what it means, how to use it, and some examples to help you understand it better. Snap out of it is an idiomatic expression in English. It's used to tell someone to stop being in a state of distraction, sadness, or self-absorption, and to return to a normal state of mind. It's like saying, stop focusing on that negative thought and come back to reality. This phrase is often used when someone is visibly upset or lost in thought. The origins of snap out of it are not entirely clear, but it's believed to be derived from the idea of snapping a finger to bring someone's attention back. The word snap here symbolizes a quick or sudden action, implying that the change in focus or mood should be immediate. This phrase is commonly used in casual conversations. However, it's important to use it sensitively. It's suitable for situations where a light-hearted approach is appropriate, but it might not be the best choice in more serious or sensitive scenarios. For example, it's okay to use it with a friend who is overthinking a small mistake, but not with someone dealing with serious grief or trauma. 1. Hey, snap out of it! You've been staring at that text message for an hour. 2. I know you're worried about the exam, but you need to snap out of it and focus. It's crucial to understand that snap out of it is not always appropriate. Using this phrase in a situation that requires empathy and understanding can seem insensitive. It's a phrase for lighthearted or minor situations, not for serious mental health issues. That's all about the phrase, snap out of it. We hope this video has helped clarify its meaning and usage. Remember, language is not just about words, but also about context and sensitivity. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video. Stay curious and keep learning.